What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new episode of My Damn Hauls as we slowly approach our episode 100 extravaganza. As you guys can see here, we kind of have sort of a classic style My Damn Hauls where I did not open anything, man. I actually held out for you guys. I, I held off and I, I tried my best not to open everything. Of course, this this I did get on vacation, so it's, it is open, but it's in a bag so you guys can see exactly what's revealed to us. But we have a couple things from Amazon. We got an eBay package and and we have an epic trade that I'm super excited about. And I think even today, as I'm opening this, like later on today, my SDCC exclusive WWE product from Mattel should arrive today. So we'll see about that and we can get a review going for the brand new Ultimate Edition 2-pack that was announced. But anyways, man, welcome back to another edition of My Damn Hauls. I do apologize for the weird camera angle and the lighting and stuff like that. So hopefully it'll improve just a moment. But I'm going to clear everything out and we'll go one by one through each thing just to fix the lighting, to fix everything going on and we can get into to it. So with that being said, man, let's change camera angles, get ready to crack open these packages and see what the hell we got going on. Alright, man, so the first thing is going to be this bag that I got on vacation. I hit up a couple toy stores and stuff like that. I didn't film it actually. I should have filmed it. It was, a, it was a decent little toy hunt. I went to Hyperspace Toys. It's in like South Alabama. And then I went to like this antique store that had a spot in the antique store that I checked out that was pretty cool. But the first thing I did get, I finally found a good deal for the Retro Card Sandman figure. Now, I was going to keep it mint on car, but it's actually in damaged condition. And in a loose format like this, I think I got it for like 20 or 24 bucks. So, I figured that was the time to pull it. It's mint on card on Amazon, I think, for 35 or 40 So, I figured, you know, you could get it. I could get it to open. Not a perfect figure, but trying to complete that retro collection. Going back and grabbing things that I missed. Had to have this figure. And while I, I don't love the figure, it could be better, absolutely. I still like it. Had to have it. So, here we are with Marvel Sandman looking good. Love the retro card Spider-Man, man. Gotta add to that collection right there. So really excited to add that. Next up, we do have a couple loose WWE figures now. They had a decent little selection there, but these are the ones that stood out to me. First of all, we do have this WrestleMania Elite Woken Matt Hardy figure for $13.99. This was a pretty good figure here. I have not opened these out of anything, man. Damn, that's a strong bag. Good God in heaven. Up there, you guys can see here, I've, I've owned this figure so many times before, so so it's not a huge, like, you know, groundbreaking figure, but... I figured I could use it for parts and fix-ups and possible action figure surgery. So we did get another Matt Hardy. I think this is the last Matt Hardy we got from Mattel before he jumped to AEW. But it's a nice little figure right here. I like it. You know, it's it's one of those Matt Hardys that's pretty pretty good. So figured that was a nice deal. So I did grab that Matt Hardy figure. And then, as you guys can see here, I did pick up this Bo Dallas. $3.50, man. You can't go wrong with $3.50. I was, I was not going to miss out on this Bo Dallas figure, even if I just used it for fodder parts. Elite 36 if you can believe that. So we got Elite 36 Bo Dallas. Feels a bit weird to be honest with you. You can tell that it's got some damage here. It's got some discoloration and stuff but $3.50? I'll use these parts. You know what I mean? I felt like that was a steal. So we did get Bo Dallas with the $3 pickup. I thought that was worth the shot there. So we do have our three figures right there. Next up we do have our first actual package and it's actually from eBay. We have an eBay package here. But you guys know as well as I do, I can't get into these packages without the trusty knife. Pretty good stab hole right there. Pretty good right there. So we'll rip that open, and you guys will see we have an Elite 93 Seth Rollins. It was part of this like 30% off sale that I found on eBay, and I think for 30% off, so I got this figure pretty much shipped to my door for about 19 bucks, I think it was, which is just a steal. You know, I think uh, below retail price right there for the brand new Elite 93 Rollins, extra Rollins head, extra Rollins parts, the new thick thighs. Thought about taking this guy to surgery and doing some stuff with him, so maybe that could be a few Future surgery episode, but for th for whatever we got, 19 bucks, uh, I felt like that was a pretty good freaking deal. So had to add this to the collection. Even it includes all the accessories. You got the hands, you got the head sculpt, you got the jacket. I mean, I, I don't know where you go wrong there. And it's a new formula. So now I have two of the Elite 93 Rollins. Let's be honest, we'll end up with 12 of them. Let's be honest. I mean, uh, like you guys know how the Seth Rollins collection. It's almost wall to wall now. So Seth Rollins.
Gardens. Get another figure there. We added another loose figure for the haul today. Next up is a package from Amazon, and we're going to also need the trusty knife to crack him open. So, a little slitzy there. Patented 180. Another cut there. I need to sharpen the trusty knife, to be honest with you, but... Straight across, opening it up, and what do we have, Brad? Elite Series 91, Samuel Zane. I got this Elite 91 Sami Zayn. I want to say it was on a Prime for a really good deal. Fix the camera a little bit there, but it was on it was on Amazon Prime. Wait a minute. Okay. So the trophy's not missing, it's just loose in there. Thank God I'm not keeping this mint on card. I mean, I might be able to finagle it into position if I really attempted it for about an hour. But, you guys know that I used my head sculpt, did an Elite 63 swap and stuff, but I wanted this figure again to make sure that I had a Sami Zayn in the cargo look. Added another jacket, added another gray head sculpt, so now I will have, you know, uh, a couple pairings there. This is what my old one looks like, because I put the Elite 63 head on it, put this head on the Elite 63 body, and now I just have this fodder because we put the arms on Finn Balor. So you guys get the point on why we needed a new one. So there, there's that. Nothing too crazy. Just to replace this one right here, I want him one in the cargo look. So there is Sami Zayn for all intents and purposes of today's haul. Now the next package that we have is a bit interesting. And you might think I'm a psychopath. It's kind of a big box here. So if I take this and we slit it open. While I'm slitting this open, can somebody let me know down in the comment section below if you guys will be attending San Diego Comic Con? Can you let me know that down? in the comment section below. I'd greatly appreciate it. I may work some stuff out where I go. I do not know just yet, but that would be epic to go get to go out there and meet a lot of people. So, cutting that across, man. Opening it up. I just dropped something. I don't know what it was. God dang it. Anyways, opening this up, man. You will see we have two... Alpha Class Buzz Lightyear figures. Now, not a bad packing job right there. Now, you're probably wondering, MDT, why the hell did you get Buzz Lightyear figures of this sort? Well, first of all, I'm a massive Buzz Lightyear fan and Toy Story fan. So is my son. Let me get this shish out of the way before I throw a fit. Here are the two Alpha Classes. These are actually in 7-inch scale. Not that that really matters to me, but I figured they were great figures. Now, I have already bought this figure one time. I'll go get the loose one right now. All right, well, I couldn't find my loose copy. It's somewhere it's my son's. I got it for my son. And so, this is all I could find. I could just find the little basket or the little kitty carrying case for socks right there. And he put socks in there. So, this is all I could find of the figure. I'll find it eventually. But, I wanted one of these for my own personal collection. Then I wanted one to keep men on card. So, I'm going to keep one of these men on card. The other one will be opened. And I know that sounds stupid, but I felt like in this 7-inch scale, I feel like it would look really sweet, not only in his room, but over the years, I, I, I just feel like I want to get this. And I may get more Buzz stuff mint on card, you know, just for future sake. We'll see about that, but I just love the way it looks. I love the scale. I love the figure in general. It's a great figure. It really, really is, but it looks amazing in packaging as well. I also have some other Buzz Lightyear stuff coming in soon off the new movie and uh, classic stuff. So there's that, but this is uh, the little carrying case. I figured I could use this for, like, his accessories, the, the carrying case and stuff. Maybe able to use this for WWE. I don't know. We'll see. Nonetheless, I still wanted it for the collection, so I do have these two Buzz Lightyears for the collection to go with our haul today. So we're, you know, we have a nice little decent haul here, but we do have one more package that I have to get into. So we got our Sandman, we have our men on card figures, our stuff from eBay, we got our loose stuff. Now we're gonna get into the big boy of the day, which is the result of a trade. And this trade is from my boy Thomas Rice. And the box was so damn big, I couldn't fit it in the backstage area. So I'm just gonna cut this hoe open and you guys will find out what's inside. Now I was very excited for this trade, because it checks off another box, if you will. You know, anytime you check a box in the collection, that's going to be a win. And I do apologize for the lighting and stuff, of course. It's just a weird angle and stuff that we have to be at. But here we go. Looks like Thomas did package this up very well, which I always appreciate. Yeah, he packed the absolute hell out of this. That is, that is beautiful to see. Anyways... Going in and grabbing said figure. You guys can probably already tell the shape. And unwrapping it here, Brad, you will see the AEW. Oh, he threw in a little Jake card. That's nice. We have the AEW Unrivaled Series 7 1 of 3000 Chase Lance Archer figure. So that is a beauty. Huge shout out to Thomas for the trade. Excited to have this in the collection. Do have to get a defender case for it. I don't have any extras left, so I do have to. I'm going to have to get me another one, but this figure looks beautiful. Very excited to have this in the collection now. I think this makes my 11th chase, so we're about halfway there, almost halfway there, so that's pretty sweet. And I actually just bought another one, 
which will arrive soon. I got a really good deal on eBay, so there's 12. Slowly but surely, bro, slowly but surely, we're gonna get there. Need to just bite the bullet and snap the head off and buy, and buy the Cody, but I can't pull myself to it yet. We'll see. Anyways. Anyways, man, I think that pretty much wraps up our My Damn Halls episode. I thought it was a pretty good episode. Nothing immaculately crazy as hell, but a pretty decent little haul right here. I mean, we did have a Chase AEW figure. I guess that's pretty good there. I'm, uh, You know what I'm saying? I just, I don't know. Maybe I just felt like it went by really quick. I don't know, but you shout out to Thomas. You shout out to Amazon, eBay, everybody that we confirmed a deal with. Again, another Chase AEW figure on the way. So, and it is another one of 3,000, if I'm not mistaken. I believe it is. Psych, it, no, yeah, it is. It is a one of 3,000, you dumb moron. Anyways, before we get out of here, guys, let's get into the random shout out. And this shout out's gonna go to Gregory W. Any chance you know what the next Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy is gonna be? Or if you've got a video on it already, I'll go find it. That two pack Ultimate Edition news is awesome. Hoping it really is a precursor to future two packs. RVD versus Cena One Night Stand comes to mind for a cool packaging opportunity. That would be a nutty two in one Ultimate Edition ringside exclusive. Holy shish. 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 That'd be unbelievable. But the Ultimate Edition Jeff Hardy, I do believe, is going to be based on 2002, if I'm not mistaken. We will have to see about that, of course. But the idea of an RVD versus Cena One Night Stand two pack Ultimate Edition style makes me want to lose my god dang mind just even mentioning the possibility. You could throw in the ECW title, the WWE title, the Money in the Bank briefcase, both gears. Oh, God in heaven. You want to make me lose my John Brown mind, bro? Oh, my God. I got to get the hell out of here before something happens. <laughs>